Hey guys, Apple SDK Dev here. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to give your own app a loading screen. So basically it's going to be a little image that pops up on the screen for about 2, 3, yeah about 2, 3 seconds. So the first thing we got to do is open up Paintbrush and we got to get an image. But the dimensions have to be 320 by 480 pixels. Those are the specifications. So once we got it, then let's open it up nice and wide. Let's give it a nice background color. Let's go with something a little bit darker. That's a good color. Now let's go ahead and, um, well, you can design it however you want. I'm just going to be kind of simple. First thing I'm going to do is just give it a little, that's going to give it like the look of an icon. Let's give it some, uh, like a letter or something. I'm going to give it like an I for information. Courier, that's a good font. Oblique. We'll make that nice and big. Yeah, that's a good size. Now I'll paste that in. And now the last thing I'm just going to do is I'm just going to have um, a little sign that says loading at the bottom. Dot, dot, dot. Of course, i got to make that a lot smaller, saying that that was like ginormous. Okay, we'll make that a, like a 42 size font. Basically, you can do this on any photo editor you got. You can do it from anything from um, Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, to Paintbrush like this. Um, okay, that's about all I really need. So let's go ahead and save that. You have to title it Default with a capital T, dot PNG. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Whoops, I spelled it wrong. Default. So now we're going to go ahead and save that to the desktop. Close it, as you can see. Here it is. Now just go up here, make sure you got the right size because it has to be the exact thing. Pixels, 320 by 480. Perfect. Okay. So now, we're going to go ahead and open up our Xcode. Now you can open any file you want, whatever you want to have this loading screen. I'm just going to go ahead and open up my space jump. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drag this down, and I'm going to drag my default right up to the space jump. Make sure you're copying it into the destinations group. So now that it's there, you're basically done. Now that it's there, just make sure, yep, there it is. Go ahead and click build and run. As you can see, there it is. And you see that? Oh, I'm going to do it once again. Maybe I'll show it in slow motion this time. So build and run. There it is. I know it's kind of quick. Um, there are definitely ways you can edit it if you go into um, Simple Game App Delegate. Um, right here, you can just go ahead and enter twice. Speed, I mean, sleep. Then you can just type in your amount of seconds and then end that parentheses. And it'll be all set right there. I'm just going to have it on that quick speed, so I'm about done. Once you've done that, go and save your project, and you're basically done. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this tutorial, you found it useful, subscribe, rate it 5, and hit me up with some feedback. Thanks, guys.